Well, the last race for me today is the 12 Furlong Handicap, the 0 to 100 event for three hours up. Uh, Martin Needham will finish off today. A Windy City, Patrick Oga, number one. Number two is Inferno Storms, Paul Rhodes, seven to two. Trance, Terrible Ancient, Davy Robertson. Time in the Sun, Dave Hoody, Dolores Abernathy, Dan Hughes. Oriel and Mark, Darren French, Ballerina Queen, Martin Needham. And the favourites, Jack Cherry, Stu Gray, Roaring Forties, Martin Needham. And Snow Martin, Craig Beckwith. Ten horses in this field. And away they go, and slow away there was uh, Windy City for Padre Gogan. Quickly away on the rail, Ballerina Queen for Martin Needham. But now Craig Beck with Snow Martin. A uh, reluctant leader on the outside has moved forward. It's the Ballerina Queen of Leeds, but quickly passed now by Inferno Storm for Paul Rhodes. On the inside of Inferno Storms is Time in the Sun. There's a few going wide here. Dolores Abernethy is going to probably potato their chance. One of them is Jack Cherry, who's on the inside of Terrible Ancient. Warring Forties on their inside. Uh, behind that is Aurelian Mark for Darren Fred and Windy City at the back of the field. But it's only about six lanes first to last as Inferno Storms takes him along. That's Paul Rhodes' colours. One of the mini of the season. Dolores Abernethy in second for Dan Hughes. On the row is Time in the Sun for Dave Hoody. In between horses is Snow Martin for Craig Beckwith. That's white cap. You can just about see it. And on the outside of that is uh, Roaring Forties for Martin Leadham. Uh, the black colours of Stu Gray's Jack Cherry is on the inside of the turquoise and pink stripes of Terrible Ancient for Davy Robertson. On the rail just beyond all these is, Roaring, is uh, Ballerina Queen for Martin Leadham with on his out Outside the Wheelian Mark, and anybody said he's at the back of the city field for Patrick Hogan. We've got about seven furnace left to go in this uh, 12 furnace event, and if Inferno Storm leads from uh, about three lengths from Dolores Abernethy the Grey for Dan Hughes, on the inside of that is Time in the Sun for Dave Hoody out wide, about five wide at this stage is uh, Terrible Ancient for Davy Robertson, on his inside Jack Cherry, on the inside of Jack Cherry is Roaring Forties, and then on the inside of that is Snow Martin. On the rail, just behind these, is Ballerina Queen, and then we followed by Windy City with a William mark at the back of the field and being pushed along. Far furnace left to travel. Inferno Storms, a comfortable leader. And now Time in the Sun is moving forward strongly for Dave Hooley. And Inferno Storms draws a kick from the front. From Time in the Sun in second. Then Roaring Forties. Running, improving on the rail is Ballerina Queen. And Ballerina Queen is trying strongly. We're followed by um, Snow Martin. Dolores Abernethy. Terrible Ancient is trying to get going. From the back of the field, Windy City is trying to get going as well. It's Inferno Storms with three phones left to go. It's opened up by three lengths here from but Warring Forties and Ballerina Queen in between the two Time in the Sun then Dolores Abernethy up the centre of the track the grey horse is long stride is trying to close down on this leader but Paul Rhodes is in Inferno Storms is well clear starting to tie in now though and Dolores Abernethy looks a big threat along with Warring Forties Dolores Abernethy trying to get to this uh, to Inferno Storms Inferno Storms is tiring up but he's holding on Inferno Storms holding on yeah comes Dolores Abernethy with a half a foot to go Dolores Abernethy for Dan Hughes comes to pick it up close home and Dolores Abernethy draws clear to win from Roaring Forties. I think Terrible Ancient might have run the long time leader out of fourth place. That was Inferno Storms. Dan Hughes picks up another one. He's having a great season, challenging for the title. But he wins a bread and butter race here with Dolores Abernethy. Roaring Forties back in second. Inferno Storms did hold on for third. Terrible Ancient travelled wide the whole way. That put pay to his chances. And Windy City ran from the back to finish fifth for Patrick Hogan.